Okay, business calculus. This is homework um, from chapter two, and we're doing problems there. The question was, what about number two? Number two says, um, to calculate the average rate of change of a given function over the interval, two to six. Okay, well, what they gave us was, was they're giving us T, which stands for months, I'll put a little M here for months, and they also gave us R as an output, which stood for money. Now what's important about this is that the money that they gave us, they said this is in millions. This is going to make a big difference. Because in two months, they say after two months, we'll have 20.7. Now without this information of in the millions, that would be $20.70. But because again this is millions, we think of this 20.7 as 20 million point seven. The actual number again is 20 million point seven, even though it says actually says twenty dollars and seventy cents. The fourth month um, it says we have twenty four point nine million, and the sixth month it says we have nineteen point nine million. Now to get the interval, we need the uh, the rise of a run. The rise comes from the output, which is which will be the R. So let's um, between two and six, so two and six here. This will be our output. Now, I really should write 19 million, but I'm only going to write 19.9 here. And later on, I'll fix it as a million. Okay, so it's uh, y2 minus y1, so minus 20.7. And then my x1 will be 6 minus x2, which is 2. Okay, now from here, let's do some subtracting. This will be negative 0.8, and this will be 4. And when you re simplify this, you get negative 0.20. Now it looks like 20 cents, um, or should I say, it looks like um, um, less than a dollar. What it actually is is less than a million. So this will actually be negative 200,000, which is one decimal place less than a million. So this is in actual dollars per month. Alright, so this is what they were looking for in that problem. The next problem, let's look at, uh, I think it was number 11. Let's scroll until I get there. Okay. Number 11. Let's take a look at that. Make sure that yeah, was. Let's focus this so we can get it. Okay, number 11. A uh, quick approximation uh, to estimate the derivative of the function at the indicated point. Okay, our function is f of x equals x over 4 minus 9. And we're told that x equals negative 4. And they want a quick approximation of that. Okay, um, one way we can do this is by taking the x, well, using the function f of x plus h, and then minus f of x all over that h. This will give us an approximation. And let's add here that h will be 0.1. So what the function will look like is x plus h will be x plus h all over 4 minus 9. That's this x plus h here. Then minus the regular f of x. So minus the f of x, which is x over 4 minus 9 all over h. Now remembering that x stands for negative 4 and h stands for 0.1 and again x is still negative 4 here and h is 0.1. We can put all this into the calculator. I want to tell my calculator, okay, I want negative 4 to be stored into x, okay, and also want 0.1 to be stored you can see that. I want point 0.1 to be stored into h. Where's h? There's h right there. So I'll go alpha h. Alright, so now I'll begin to put this in. So open parentheses for the whole numerator, and then another parenthesis for the x plus h. So x alpha, sorry, should be alpha, x plus alpha h, close parenthesis, divided by 4, and then subtract 9. And then we're going to subtract the next parenthesis, open parenthesis, 
x divided by 4, so it'll be x divided by 4 minus 9. Close that parenthesis. Then we're going to close the entire numerator. And then we're going to divide all that by h. So divide it by alpha h. And our approximation is 0.25. So again, this is just a quick approximation here. Or you could say 1 fourth, or they, they both will work.